if the company doesn't hire an immigrant, then presumably they're just going to hire an American, right? So this seems very clear, and so why aren't we seeing any effect, right? Um, and so what I find in my research is actually a lot of firms have another choice, right? So uh -huh. I'm a U.S. company. I want to hire an Indian worker. Uh -huh. um, I apply for a visa for that uh, Indian worker, and that visa is rejected, okay? okay? So what do I do? Right. So traditionally, what people have assumed is, okay, I can't get that Indian worker, I'm going to hire an American worker. Yeah. What I find is that actually what a lot of firms will do is they'll hire that Indian worker in, for example, Canada. Ah. Because Canada has much more open immigration policies. Oh, interesting. And that Indian worker can do the same work for that company. Right, it's just in a different location. Yeah. And so, so there's this whole other option that uh, just hasn't been talked about. So essentially, we're losing a job. Yeah. So rather than jobs sort of being lost to foreign workers, we're actually losing a job to the US where there's taxes that could be paid. Yes. And, 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 and sort of residual benefits that come from having more right. high skilled workers in the workforce anyway. Right, right, right. Well, exactly. I'm a manager. What are the implications for me? As a manager, you always want to get hire the best, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so the best might be an American, it might not be, yeah. right? If it's an American, that's easy, yeah. right? If it's not an American, then you have to think through your other choices, yeah. right? So your other choices may be, maybe the second best is an American and, and they're gonna do almost as good work, right? Yeah. And then, okay, uh -huh. um, but it may be that maybe only the fifth best is an yeah, American, yeah. right? And then, uh, so, then you're really gonna have to think about a change in strategy, and maybe you wanna manage your team in another country instead, right, rather, and so, it is kind of a big strategic choice to make, but it's, you also wanna think about it not just in terms of this happening the one time, yeah. right? In all likelihood, there's gonna be many more instances of this, yeah. right, and so, you have to think in the long run, does it make sense for me to keep going through this process where I'm regularly unable to hire the people that I want to hire, or do I just kind of jump ship yeah. and go somewhere else uh -huh. where I can guarantee that I'm going to be able to hire the best consistently, yeah. right? So maybe the second best works one time, yeah. maybe it works the second time, but in the long run, it, you might really be, that might be causing significant damage, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. For more information on international business, please go to internationalhub.org or subscribe to our channel.